Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. This is Growing Wisdom. We're here today at New England Wildflower Society, Framingham, Mass, Garden in the Woods, and we're with Scott LaFleur. And Scott, you're the botanical director, right? Correct. And this time of year, trilliums are in bloom. Absolutely. And trilliums are just revered here at Garden in the Woods. We have about 12 different species of them. And there are two types of trilliums. One is a sessile trillium, where the three leaves and the flower sits directly on the leaves. The other is pedicillate, and when that actually has a small stalk the flower is on, and that can be either held upright for trillium erectum or kind of bending over for trillium flexipes, the bent trillium. Of the 12 types you have here, how many would you find just in New England in the wild? Well, for New England native trilliums, there are no, there are no sessile native trilliums, the sessile being the flower directly on the leaves. So there are only pedicillate trilliums that are native to New England, and two of the most abundant would be the Trillium grandiflorum and the Trillium erectum. I love the Trillium grandiflorum. Most showy trillium. You'll notice this is beautiful white, and this is a little pinkish to it. That's a little signal to the insect that that's already been pollinated, so to stay away. So this plant evolved absolutely to really disperse its seeds in a maximum way. And any other ways that it gets the seeds out there? Yeah, you'll notice trilliums growing in colonies or, or large spreads like this because the seeds don't go very far. The ovary here in the middle of the flower will ripen, the seeds will fall to the ground, and that's how you get smaller plants right at the base here. The other way that it happens is that on the seeds coming from the trillium, there's a little thing called a liosome. It's a real fleshy, tender part of the seed. The ants love to eat it. So the ants will take that seed, bring it back to their, their colonies, eat off the fleshy part, and then throw the seed in their compost pile. So there will actually be a group of seeds coming from an ant colony that will start to grow that way. Scott, this particular one, this mm -hmm. multiplex, is really, as you said, showy. It almost looks like a double trillium. It is. And it has no sexual organs, so it reproduces very uniquely. Exactly. It reproduces by having little bulbs or little shoots come off the original rhizome. And the way that you get this plant to multiply is by digging up that rhizome, breaking off the little shoots, and replanting them. So you're doing it vegetatively. It can never produce seed. And is that something that people can do at home, or is that something that professionals should do? They can definitely do it at home. The rhizome is actually an underground stem. The underground stem throws up a modified leaf, and that actually goes up and has three more leaves that open off of it. How would you take care of them? What should a homeowner do? The Trillium grandiflorum, the big white one, has a slightly more limey soil to it. So you might want to add a little lime to the soil as you're preparing it. The Trillium erectum is an acid-loving one, so for that you would want to add maybe a little pine needles in there, something like that. Well, Scott, this is absolutely fascinating. Thanks a lot. Have a great Absolutely. season here at New England Wildflower Society, and we hope you come back every week for all of our tips at Growing Wisdom.